everyone. I'm your host, Psycho Maniac, coming at you from the Rat Economy, and today we're going to look at a movie called Robo War. Before we get into this crap, let's get some history about this movie. The director of this movie, Bruno Mattei, he's basically the Italian Ed Wood, because his films contain stock footage, cheapness, and bad acting. But he did make Terminator 2. Uh, not that one. That one. But by the way, let's hop in to Robo War. The movie begins with these guys in a helicopter reconning or something like that. Take a look at the landing strut and the camera. Any damage? It seems so. The circuits have gone haywire. <laughs> but it looks like they're not alone. Enemy sighted, moving target, tracking search, free scene, on target, on target, on target. Yo, what virtual boy game is this? Target, higher, higher. Well, screw those guys. Anyways, time to meet our main characters. Here we have Corporal Neil Corey, expert heavy weapons, top marksman rating. Private Larry Garino, crack reconnaissance man. Known as Diddy or Diddy Bop. Wait. His nickname is Diddy Diddy Bach? Known as Diddy or Diddy Bop. Or Diddy Diddy Bop. Whatever. Ex Vietnam medical officer, Alfred Bray, dubbed Papa Doc. Sonny Peel, martial arts expert. His friends call him Blood. Nung Kuo, forward scout and point taker, renamed Quang, carryover from the Vietnam campaign. And this is our coordinator, Major Murphy Black. Ah, yeah. Multi-decorated field officer, better known as Kill Zone. Experts, they know the area, and they're your best bet for finding our lost friend, Omega-1. The thing that introduces the main characters, well, we get to know their personalities in this scene. And it kind of reminds you of that one scene from Predator, you know, when you're in the helicopter. Oh, and I'm, uh, by the way, the marijuana used in this movie is actually real. So it's probably what to use to pay the actors. Once the team gets out the boat, they meet up with Masher, who's pretty much this movie's version of Dylan. And from then on, the mission is a go. What's the possibility of backup? I'm your backup. One way ticket. Well, you know what they say. Life's a bitch, then you die. Move along, Doc. You walk like a ruptured duck. Huh? Mm. You like one. You're doing fine, Doc. Don't listen to that guinea bastard. Thank you. Fuck you, you're welcome. <laughs> I swear, I love this movie's dialogue already. done all that. Of course not. Can't you see he's been dead for days? However, the team has to stop looking at the skeleton, because the sniper's got them in his sights. He's mine. Instead of finding the sniper, they find a predator ripoff. I mean, seriously, the guy's hanging from a tree all gutted up? Holy shit. This one's been gutted too. What follows this scene is the most grooviest walk for jungle you'll ever see. We get a POV shot of the robot, and man, all I gotta say is, I can count those pixels. You also could look at the robot, who's just a dude in a biker outfit. I mean, come on! Since when does that qualify for a robot? Oh, great. 
I just realized I'm receiving a Predator ripoff. Vibration. Someone there. Moving on, the team comes across a bridge that could have some hostiles on it. We are not supposed to do anything except carry out this mission. I say let's get ready for a clean kill. What does that mean? It means you better duck shit it, because we're going to start settling some accounts here. Roadkill! I bet one of these assholes a practical joker is set the trap. How did they not see them? What if some bad bang good crap was? Overkill. Extermination. Kill. Tacular. Killing spree. Kill atrocity. Kilimanjaro. Kill apocalypse. Kill catastrophe. Killionaire. Killing frenzy. Running. No! No! Wait. How did this bozo not get shot? Get him! Two! I get him! Three. <clears throat> All right, you saved the girl. Now, what about that robot? On target. Fire. Explosion! What the hell? There must be more of them, and they're well armed. Could it be? Maybe a machine. What about her? We can leave her here. The girl reveals that she was part of the Peace Corps as like a worker or something. They got stuck here because of the bad guys. But something weird I noticed is that she's credited as Virgin. Moving on, the heroes are now doing some recon on the bad guy base. <laughs> ah, shut up, damn you. <laughs> The team begins their assault on the bad guy base, and all I gotta say is, Man, this action is insane. It's freaking crazy. Love it. Sorry. Killing spree. say the scene it kind of looks like the beginning of Predator, you know, when they're like in the jungle fighting the gorillas. But it's kind of just a coincidence, you know, it's just a jungle fight in a village. Don't move. Stick around. Whoa, man, I'm seeing things like robots and stuff, dude. Explosion! Explosion! Enough of the explosions already. The hunter. Wow, they look so concerned that their teammate just ran off in a crazy fit of rage. 
The obligatory explain the monster. Uh, I mean robot scene. Son of a bitch. You're gonna tell me everything you know. I'm gonna slit your fucking throat. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy. So what do you want to know? What the fuck was that thing we saw? It's a... Omega-1 is the perfect and ultimate weapon. It was released to reverse the situation. You tell me you invented that thing? Yes. Together with my team of bionic experts. You bastard. You have any idea what you did? Of course I do. Yes. Make the Predator movie, but with the Terminator instead of the Predator. In this scene, we learned that Killzone was in Vietnam. Although it looks more like Florida to me. We also learned that he lost his best friend to a mine. Moving on, the character Papa Duck is killed off by, of all things, an attack tentacle? Really? Another attack tentacle? Didn't we have one last episode? Moving on, the team to the trap for the robot, but it doesn't go so well. Due to the trap failing, Masher tries to disable the robot manually since he made it, but he ends up failing in the most spectacular fashion ever. Also, the robot kills this dude. <laughs> This leaves Killzone and Virgin the last alive, but the robot isn't far behind. Killzone and Virgin decide to set up a napalm trap for the robot because the last trap worked so well. In this scene, we learn that the robot is really Killzone's friend who died in Vietnam or something. Target centered. <laughs> Target centered. Target centered. Target centered. Breathe deep. Fire. Ugh, water. My only weakness. Well, the robot's dead. So I should make things off the island pretty easy. Killzone and Virgin attempt to make their escape, but it isn't over yet. So the robot tracks down Killzone to make him kill himself because I guess being a robot is too painful 
or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a robot, so I wouldn't know. So that was Robo Wars. Now this may have been the most blatant Predator ripoff I've ever seen. It was the most entertaining one too. I mean, I had fun watching this movie. I would watch it again too. I liked it that much. I mean, it's stupid and dumb, but I thought it was really fun and entertaining. So if you're bored and you got your friends with you, I'd say check out Robo Wars. Get out of here!